going to learn how to create transparent illustrations. Transparency is a very big trend and uh, uh, designers use different fabrics like tulle, georgia chiffon, glass nylon, organdy. When you are illustrating, your rendition should showcase the transparency. So in the last chapter, we learned about how to create denim, which is very opaque, but in a transparent fabric, there is always, uh, you can see the inner body or if there is any garment inside. So all that needs to be done. So when we start making it, it's very, very easy. So this is how a transparent fabric is looking like. The impression of whatever is inside. And we also see that the background layer is also being seen. So let's learn three ways of doing it. One is how to uh, use your foreground color and fill in. So it's very easy. I've, I've not scanned any skirt or any dress, so I'm just giving a demonstration. So let's say there is a skirt that I've drawn. So obviously the skirt will go under the hand and uh, this is how it is going to look like. Now this is on layer 1, just go on the next layer, all backspace is going to fill in. Okay, so the layer 7 is actually under. Uh, so now the whole area has become very very uh, opaque. So what we can do is, the simplest thing is to reduce the transparency of whatever you have done. Okay, so this is the first step, reduce the transparency. Based on what kind of fabrics you are using, the transparency would be uh, differing. So now we have got the basic outline of the transparency. Now what we need to do is, uh, there are a lot of places where we see shadows. And we also have to create a background of the transparent dress. Uh, so this is too flat. So what we need to do is just copy the same transparent layer onto a new layer and reduce the transparency a little, little bit more. Now what we need to do is just go to the eraser tool. So what we need to do is, so once you have copied this image on the new layer, use the eraser tool and stroke the skirt right in the front of the legs so that that area becomes more lighter and also use the eraser tool to create more texture in the skirt so this is how we are trying to give texture to the body creating highs and lows shadows and light so wherever the dress is touching uh, the legs, that place would be very, very light. And wherever it is going in the back, it would be not light. Now, what you need to do is just again do control, control J. You have created a new layer, which is again op opaque. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer. So now there is a lot of body that we have added by, by erasing a lot of layers. What we need to do is add on some more lines. Go to brush tool. On a new layer, go to a slightly darker shade. One, and then all these lines, first of all, just reduce the opacity of these lines. And now go to FX and do a drop shadow. So now, what I'm doing is I'm just increasing the shadow part. Now I go back to the opacity and I decrease it. So can you see that just by just by using three tools we were able to uh, create high and low and a texture to the whole fabric. Now what we need to do is so there is some part that has gone out. So just remove Increase the opacity and just erase this whole part. 
So this is how we've been able to work on the opacity by using colors. If you have actually created some sort of print, let's go to a print. So, okay, so this is the print, control A, C. You go back, then you come to this layer and you create uh, Create a dress, overdress. Let's run to open. Yeah, so this is the dress that we have created. Now, what I need to do is go into a new layer and uh, let's say, let me fill in. So, what I need to do is go into a new layer. And let's create a different uh, let's say an aqua okay and then I do alt backspace so this is how the whole dress is looking like all right so now what I want to do is I need to go back to the print that I've created control AC and just paste into okay so the print is too big Now we just reduce the opacity of the layer. Now the the new thing that we need to work on is there is a background layer. Just go on this layer and just select it and uh, then recreate a background layer. background layer and uh, just to control alt V go to your eraser tool and just go to your eraser part and uh, first of all erase because legs are after in front of the background so we need to create layer for legs Okay, and then also this layer is slightly darker. We need to give it some sort of texture on the topmost layer, which is layer 10. Just go to layer 10 and uh, take your airbrush and uh, try to, let's say we have done a printed uh, charge it or tool dress for this girl and uh, let's say if you're working with with lace so after this I create so this is how our body is going to look like so it is the uh, yeah so let's say we have developed this lace one this looks like this this is a lace i go back to my drawing i say control alt v and uh, this is how it has turned out to be so i just reduce the size of this and uh, let me just Give the size of this it's too big the lace pattern is so big so let's say we have come here and uh, I just go to the opacity as I start decreasing it and uh, I do the same things here uh, because this is lace is usually uh, just showcases some part of the body and uh, a very little part of the background so just uh, again just to control V and uh, take off the leg part the body which is in front of the yes 
so just take out the legs yeah and uh, this part is slightly bigger and this is what you have done mm, yeah and then uh, you do your uh, you take your brush tool go to this reduce the flow and uh, start so the whole point is you uh, you have to practice uh, these and then just go to the opacity and just start doing this now I go to a new layer I go to FX and I say drop shadow So this is the method of creating transparent illustration.